my sister and my brother in Christ. Let us pray for our new prime minister in the name of Jesus that she will keep our words and do what she said she will do for the people and the nation. We know that a lot of politicians, when they get into government, they don't do what they said they will do when they get in. So I am praying today that this new prime minister, that in number 10, will do what she says she will do and will stick to our word in the name of Jesus. So Father Jesus, this moment, I come before your presence as a believer. I pray this moment, God, because you said if we ask anything in your name and believe by faith, it shall be done and it will be done. So in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I bring this trust before your present God. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you will speak to her directly. That she will hear from you, Jesus. That God will remind her of what she said she will do for the people. Jesus, I pray that the people will believe in her. That she will do what she says she will do. Father, in the name of Jesus, the winter is coming now. Your people is feeling the pressure. They're feeling the burden. They're feeling the pinch. They can't afford to pay their bill. And God, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that this lady will do what she said she will do for the people. The people will get to put their trust and confidence in her. That God, she will do well in office. This is my prayer for this trust. And the people of the UK. Lord, I also pray for the people who are around her. That when they get together in the, around the table to make decision. They will make the right decision for the right people who need. God, this is my prayer. So, this moment, I will play again. Remind Listrus what she said she will do for the people after I pray in Jesus' name. To God be the glory. Great things. Great things about to come. And I pray that great things will come. And the people will receive some form of help in Jesus' name. To God be the glory. Listen to her speech in Jesus' name. I have just accepted Her Majesty the Queen's kind invitation to form a new government. Let me pay tribute to my predecessor. Boris Johnson delivered Brexit, the COVID vaccine, and stood up to Russian aggression. History will see him as a hugely consequential Prime Minister. I'm honoured to take on this responsibility at a vital time for our country. What makes the United Kingdom great is our fundamental belief in freedom, in enterprise and in fair play. Our people have shown grit, courage and determination time and time again. We now face severe global headwinds caused by Russia's appalling war in Ukraine and the aftermath of COVID. Now is the time to tackle the issues that are holding Britain back. We need to build roads, homes and broadband faster. We need more investment and great jobs in every town and city across our country. We need to reduce the burden on families 
and help people get on in life. I know that we have what it takes to tackle those challenges. Of course, it won't be easy, but we can do it. We will transform Britain into an aspiration nation with high paying jobs, safe streets, and where everyone everywhere has the opportunities they deserve. I will take action this day and action every day to make it happen. United with our allies, we will stand up for freedom and democracy around the world, recognising that we can't have security at home without having security abroad. As Prime Minister, I will pursue three early priorities. Firstly, I will get Britain working again. I have a bold plan to grow the economy through tax cuts and reform. I will cut taxes to reward hard work and boost business-led growth and investment. I will drive reform in my mission to get the United Kingdom working, building and growing. We'll get spades in the ground to make sure people are not facing unaffordable energy bills and we will also make sure that we are building hospitals, schools, roads and broadband. Secondly, I will deal hands-on with the energy crisis caused by Putin's war. I will take action this week to deal with energy bills and to secure our future energy supply. Thirdly, I will make sure that people can get doctor's appointments and the NHS services they need. We will put our health service on a firm footing. By delivering on the economy, on energy and on the NHS, we will put our nation on the path to long-term success. We shouldn't be daunted by the challenges we face. As strong as the storm may be, I know that the British people are stronger. Our country was built by people who get things done. We have huge reserves of talent, of energy and determination. I am confident that together we can ride out the storm, we can rebuild our economy and we can become the modern, brilliant Britain that I know we can be. This is our vital mission to ensure opportunity and prosperity for all people and future generations. I am determined to deliver. Thank you.